Miltonians, like most Canadians, are concerned about affordability. They want to make sure that we continue to have their backs through uh, through the pandemic, that we can, you know, uh, get to the end of COVID-19. So this is something that we can talk about in uh, in retrospect rather than in current terms. Um, but then there's always the the important social issues of, um, of fighting racism and making sure that we get that anti-hatred bill passed as quickly as possible, as well as uh, bringing back Bill C-6 to end conversion therapy in Canada. Uh, I remain laser focused on commitments with respect to fighting climate change and ensuring better outcomes for Indigenous people. Um, housing affordability is a, is a huge concern, primarily for Canadians who are currently not in the market, um, in the housing market, Canadians who are uh, who are renting, who feel exploited, uh, and people who want to buy their first home and can't. Uh, so these are things that are top of mind for me. Um, obviously, I want to get to work on important issues related to physical activity and recreation as well, because as we're battling through this pandemic, we're also battling an inactivity crisis. And uh, we've got to make sure that Canadians feel safe getting back to play, to sport, uh, and, and regain their physical and mental health that comes with that. And that is especially true for kids and young people and and Milton being such a young riding with so many kids who want to uh, maintain and uh, and improve their their physical and mental health uh, physical activity is just one of the many ways to do that so I know that's a long list uh, but there's a lot of work ahead and it's certainly not um, you know it's certainly not limited to that list there's lots more to do um, but first and foremost you got to fight and get rid of COVID-19 ensure that there's vaccines and boosters for everybody uh, who needs them uh, which is everybody, and, uh, and and make sure that we've got Canadians' backs as we get through this time. I guess now you, we talk about some of the agenda items that that mean a lot to you. Can you predict it and honestly assess maybe some of the challenges that uh, the Liberal government might face coming into this session? I mean, there has been a, a slew of criticisms for many um, aspects throughout uh, the election, before the election, up until now. So can you uh, can you describe to me maybe some of the challenges that your government may face, either by the opposition or just uh, some of the things that you want passed? Uh, well, I think I can't speak for the opposition, uh, but I can say that I'm still a little bit concerned about the, the Conservatives' reluctance to get behind vaccinations in earnest for everyone. Uh, we're still talking about you know, maybe three or four or five or even more. I've heard as, as many as 10 uh, conservative MPs who refuse to get vaccinated and say that they have a medical exemption of some type. Um, look, medical exemptions are, it's important to recognize that not everybody can take the vaccine, but those numbers are extremely low. It's about one in 10,000 or one in 100,000, depending on what type of exemption we're talking about. Um, so out of 338 MPs, I can tell you that all 170 or so, 69 of us uh, on the Liberal side are vaccinated. Uh, the NDP say they're all vaccinated. The Greens say they're all vaccinated. And the Conservatives still can't say that. Um, I demand to have a safe work environment, just like everybody else in Ontario. The House of Commons is here in Ontario. So my employer is an Ontario um, place. It's, it's not just uh, for me and the other MPs, though. There are so many staff in the House of Commons there are people who clean up after us. There are pages. There's young people that are volunteering. It's important that this environment is safe for them so that we can get back to the business of running Canada. Um, but I also think it's really important that MPs are ambassadors and leaders in their community. And we know that you know most of Canada is not in a lockdown situation right now because of vaccines, uh, because of the power of modern science, and because of Canadians' uh, willingness to go and get their shot. And uh, just this past weekend, I went to a, a drive through clinic in Milton to get my flu shot. Uh, so just a reminder to everybody in Milton that it is also flu season. Uh, so go out and get your flu shot and keep protecting our community um, because it's more important now than ever that we reduce the load on our healthcare system, which has been extraordinary 